This is Duke University. There isn't only one Muslim experience in Russia today. Uh, one can think of at least three categories. One is the Volga Ural region, uh, Tatars and Bashkirs. The other is the North Caucasus, Chechens, Dagestanis, and so on and so forth. The third is the immigrant uh, Muslims. The Volga Ural Muslims, as I mentioned, were incorporated into the Russian Soviet, again Russian you know, context uh, in the 16th century. They had long struggles with this, but they came to terms with it in the eight, late 18th century. They take their presence, most of them take their presence in, the, in, in Russia for granted and try to move forward from there. Uh, and this is perceived by the Russian state too. Therefore, they have an easier presence in Russia, which doesn't mean that you know, life is all rosy uh, for them. Uh, in the early 1990s post-Soviet period, they, they were able to keep close to 90% of the taxes collected from their regions in their regions and invested. Uh, since Putin came to power, that has been dwindling and you know, came to nothing uh, now. Uh, but culturally, they have a uh, broader range of motion in Russia. The North Caucasus, on the other hand, was incorporated into Russia in the mid-19th century after about 70 years of resistance, and North Caucasians never came to terms with their presence in the Russian uh, states, and the Russian state never came to terms with their presence in their state. Uh, so that's a, a lot more tension-ridden context. And the situation of immigrants is like the situation of you know, guest workers or immigrants, many other contexts, with some additional uh, xenophobia on the Russian side. 